Shifting focus to India and other countries, Supreme Court today asked the Central Bureau of Investigation to file a fresh report next Tuesday in the Kolkata rape and murder case. This comes after the probe agency flagged the forensic report in the case. The court also asked the protesting doctors to return to work, telling them that no adverse action will be taken against them if doctors return to work by 5 p.m. on Tuesday. However, the top court cautioned doctors that continuous abstention from work may result in disciplinary action. Appearing for the CBI, Solicitor General of India Tushar Mehta said that the central agency had decided to send samples collected from the crime scene to all India Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi, saying the victim was first found in semi-naked condition. The CBI said that who collected the samples has emerged as a relevant question in the probe. The samples were sent to CFSL in West Bengal after being collected. CBI also raised the issue of CISF personnel deployed at the RG Car Hospital not being provided proper accommodation and security gadgets. The Supreme Court asked the West Bengal government to provide housing to CISF personnel close to the hospital. It also asked state government to provide the personnel with the gadgets they need by end of the day. A bench of Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justices J.B. Pardiwala and Manoj Misra resumed hearing the Suomoto case. In an earlier hearing, the court had termed the incident as quote-unquote horrific and ordered a 10-member national task force to formulate a protocol for ensuring the safety and security of healthcare professionals. Meanwhile, protests continued across India and world demanding justice for the 31-year-old doctor one month after the incident. On Sunday, hundreds of people hit the streets in various parts of West Bengal at midnight in the third edition of what they are calling Reclaim the Night campaign. The body of the trainee doctor was found in a seminar hall of the Medical Hospital College on August 9th. The case triggered widespread protests by doctors demanding greater safety for women at workplaces across India. Thousands of diaspora Indians also protested in more than 130 cities across 25 countries on Sunday. Organizers said that the protests started in large and small groups across Japan, Australia, Taiwan and Singapore before spreading to cities in several European countries. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.